So I'm going to give everybody a quick tour of the cabin. The cabin is 26 feet by 16 feet with a loft. It's approximately 480 square feet. I have a uh, outhouse, uh, shower sauna, workshop, and ATV shed. I don't think you've seen all those in prior videos, but let me show you around. This is my battery box for my solar batteries. And you notice the uh, aluminum sheeting along the bottom of the cabin. That's actually to protect against porcupines. So I have a uh, 3,000 watt inverter generator, a place I can keep boots and my snowshoes. So there's my view of Mount Denali. As you come in the cabin, I have uh, two refrigerator freezers. This small one here I can make I can make it uh, two refrigerators or two freezers or refrigerator freezer and then this is uh, 10 cubic feet with the freezer up top and refrigerator down the bottom An area to hang hats and coats and headlamps and keys and all that kind of junk. A mat to keep the uh, wet and muddy boots. The kitchen is still a work in progress. I have to complete the drawers and the doors. Also need to make uh, shelving. For all the cabinets, the, uh, the stove and the oven is also made by Unique, the same company that makes the uh, refrigerators. So the sink is uh, functional just in the summer. That's the only time I can use the water pump and the cistern. Uh, water catchment system, uh, it'll freeze up in the, in the winters. So I have to resort to uh, s melting snow and uh, lake water. So the sink is, uh, all the wastewater is caught in buckets and I have to take them out and dump the water over the cliff. And the reason I dump the water over the cliff is to keep critters at the base of the cliff instead of up here at the cabin level. If I were to dump it here, then it would, uh, it would attract animals. So I don't want that, especially bears. And I have a... Uh, TV, I can stream movies straight off of my cell phone. So about 15 miles away is the town of Talkeetna, and that's where I get my cellular connection out here. If I leave the top of the mountain and go down, I lose connection, so I really only have a uh, cellular connection up here at the cabin. At nighttime, you can only see two lights, the beacon from the airport, and then down here there's a, another cell tower about 22 miles away. And you can see the red flashing light on that at night. Other than that, there's no other lights. It's pitch black out here. Mount Denali. Okay, 
Okay, so there's my futon couch. And uh, for a backrest cushion, it's uh, that's actually two Antarctica sleeping bags, one stuffed inside the other. And uh, if I were to need to get warm for some reason, if I lost my wood heat, uh, I could climb inside both of those and I would definitely stay warm. Each one of them is rated to negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The solar charge controller, it's a midnight solar classic 150. Works very well. The inverter, it's a 12 volt right now, but I am switching to 24 volt. The refrigerator and freezer runs off of uh, 12 volt right now. And that is uh, a 12 volt and 24 volt, so I can use either or for the uh, refrigerator freezers. This, uh, this refrigerator freezer here, I can actually run that off of AC also. It's my uh, computer desk. That's also going to be a reloading bench. I have to build the countertop and reinforce the bottom with some steel so it can withstand the abuse of a uh, reloading press. And it'll, it'll be removable, so it's not going to always be up there. Free up the, the desktop for the computer. So this dresser here, I keep my clothes in, and it used to be six drawers high, and there was no good place in the cabin for it. So I chopped it in half and inserted a bookshelf in the middle, and that's what I uh, ended up with. Something that fits perfectly in the perfect spot. Coat hook over by the wood stove to hang uh, my snow machine suit and let it dry out. Keep uh, my boots over here to dry out also. That's a Blaze King Princess wood stove. Keeps the cabin nice and toasty. Even negative 50 degrees out here, it'll be 83 inside the cabin. I uh, usually have to open up windows. Keep from getting roasted out of here. So these two 20 quart pots are what I uh, melt snow in or I pour the lake water into them and boil the snow melt or the lake water. After it's boiled I will uh, set it out on the porch to cool down and once it's cooled down then I can uh, filter it filter it in either one of those gravity bags my uh, Antarctica service medal spent time working down in Antarctica and also in the Arctic on icebreakers this is my coffee table for now until I build a uh, proper one and it serves the purpose for for now Get the kitchen done and then I'll build the table. There's another uh, cabinet here. There's a shower sauna in the workshop. I, I moved the wind turbine down there. That's a 12 volt micro wind turbine. I think it's 400 watts. Uh, that solar system down there is going to stay uh, 12 volts, and the cabin's being switched to 24 volts, so I will probably pick up a, a second micro uh, wind turbine, 24 volt one, and install it up here at the cabin. Uh, usually wind turbines need a, a substantial tower to generate uh, wind power but with the winds I get up here in the winter it's it's pretty sufficient uh, just with a, a short pole I don't have, need to have a tall tower the cabin sits at 2,000 feet and I get very strong winds out of the Northeast so I position the wind turbines accordingly and they, they work okay and over in the corner is the uh, ATV shed. 
that has my uh, Suzuki in it right now, my four wheeler. Both the snow machines, I store them under the, the back porch. So here's the loft. Take you up there. It has an attic style pull down ladder. So this is a pretty nice setup, having this pull down style ladder to get up to the loft. Instead of having a uh, fixed ladder or a staircase. All right, let's go up and see the, the loft. So I have four chests that I keep clothes in. A little end table. I need to finish the pine tongue and groove on this wall. That hole over there is where a 12 volt uh, RV style light used to be. I didn't like that light at all. It got very, very hot. A little bit of a fire hazard. So I'm just sticking with the battery powered uh, Streamlight Lantern. Works great. And two more on this side. I just store clothes and junk in there. My first aid kit over here. It's very well equipped. The uh, bed is a king size bed. And the window is perfectly positioned. If it gets too hot up in here when you're sleeping, you can just reach your hand up and slide that window open, cool down. The moon out there. So you can't stand up in the loft, but uh, I, I can stand on my knees in here, and that's fine with me. I don't need uh, I don't need a bedroom that you can stand in. That's my uh, Extreme cold weather boots, called bunny boots. That chest has all my extreme cold gear in it. 